Welcome, everyone. Um, I'm Hundred Visions Guy, and I'm going to start kind of a new uh, mini series of Java tutorials that go with Solo Learn. SoloLearn.com has a great set of tutorials related to Java programming. And um, this is really for my students, but anyone can take a look at this. Um, I highly recommend if you want to learn Java to go through the tutorials on here. And um, I'm going to be doing a thing related to object-oriented programming. So the section on classes and objects and more on classes is where this is coming from. And I wanted to get to the part, I've been going through this myself and building materials for my students to kind of go through it. And I realized that in the idea of creating uh, classes, creating objects, uh, creating methods and attributes and things like that, um, I think are really important for uh, students to learn and understand. And so now that um, at the point in the tutorial where you get to about constructors, this is a great time to start actually trying some of this stuff out in Java programming. So what we're going to do is we're going to create um, some objects. And we're going to think in terms of object-oriented programming. And uh, because we're going to do object-oriented programming, we're going to think about like real-world objects to begin with. In fact, I'm going to use the example of a dog to start off. And so I'm going to have just a Java project. I'm going to call it the Virtual Dog Project. And we're going to start building out a dog. And then we're going to expand this to other kinds of tutorials. But let's go ahead and get started by creating a class. We're going to use Eclipse for this. Um, and so in order to get Eclipse, you're going to want to download Java. You're going to want to download the latest version of Eclipse for Java developers. I am not going to show you how to do that so we can focus on this right now. But we're going to go to Eclipse now and start setting up our environment. Here's my Java workspace. I have it open. I'm going to create File, New, Java Project. And we're going to call this the uh, Virtual Dog we could call it animals filter. I'm going to call mine virtual dog is the name of the project. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and create this. When you create a project like this, uh, you'll have an SRC folder that's shorthand for source. So we're going to right click on here. We're going to create two classes. Now a class is a blueprint for an object and you cannot write any Java programs without a class. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put on here um, virtual dog world. I'm just going to call it that. Notice it starts with a capital letter in Java. When you create a class, it should always start with a capital letter. Um, we're going to give it a main method. So the main method is the thing that runs when you run it. And this is where we're going to test out creating our virtual dogs. And so this is the world. I'm going to click finish and it's going to generate some, some just uh, code startup. All right, so whenever you create a new class, you want to create it in the SRC folder. And uh, so I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to create another class. And this one, we're going to call it dog, capital G. So we're going to create a class for our dog. Um, I am not going to have a main method. And this is going to be, I'm going to represent virtually a dog. So if you are following along, I highly recommend you try this, but try it with a twist. Maybe try a different kind of object that you want to create. All right, a couple things I want to point out. Uh, public means we can access it from other files in our package. This is called a package, by the way. And our package contains all the different source code. And you can already see that we are separating different um, files. And so you want to, when you do object-oriented, create a new file for each object. Okay, a couple things that we're going to do once we have our dog is we're going to think in terms of its attributes um, and its methods. Now, if you look at the solo learn, um, you're going to see it's sort of building the concepts of object-oriented. Um, but I always begin when I create a class is I begin with the idea of creating a constructor. So I'm going to jump right to module eight of the 13 and that's really where I'm starting and I'm going to start here and then we're going to talk about, we're going to kind of work our way backwards. So what we need to do is create a constructor. Now a constructor always needs to be public. So, and the reason why is we need to be able to create our classes using this. We are constructing dogs here. We are in the dog creation business right now. And you'll see this public dog. 
And I'm not going to do anything other than that right here. We're going to test this out and just to kind of prove that we can get this to work. So what we're going to do right here is create new dog. We're going to call it Fido. Now, in order to create a dog, you start by declaring what data type it is. In this case, the data type is dog, capital D. Remember, you've got to capitalize those classes. Dog Fido equals... And now what are we going to do? We're going to take Fido. We're going to make him a new dog, just like so. Now, the fact that there are no errors when I do this is proof that this is actually working. So I'm going to go ahead and test it out. And what you're going to see is that we have to save our files before we do it. I always recommend we save resources before launching. It's always a good idea. So I'm just going to check that and click OK. And then when I'm done, I have one warning, but I have no errors. And it says Fido is not used. Well, there's nothing to do with Fido because all we've done is created him. Um, in our next tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to add some adjectives to describe Fido and come up with maybe uh, something for Fido to do. So stay tuned for that. <music>